Hey guys, I am here today using Spellbinder's January Small Die of the Month die. Here I am going to show you the dies that come with the die set you get this month if you're a subscriber to Spellbinder's Small Die of the Month. You get this larger frame, the smaller frame, the heart which actually fits inside, and then you get these two heart, be heart pieces. This one only cuts out the inside of the heart and then you have this one that will cut the outside of the heart. And I'm going to die cut all of these so you can see them all, but I wanted to show you how the dies kind of nest in with each other. And if you go to Spellbinder's website, I'll have the link below. They have beautiful cards posted. Like, I really like how my cards came out, but their cards are just gorgeous. I mean, just really pretty. Anyway, so here is if you just use the large die, that's what you get. This is the um, heart die, so you, that cuts out that piece, really pretty. And then of course you can use that inside heart to stick back in or use it by itself if you want. Here's the, just the simple heart piece. And you can layer them as I showed you there. And then here's what that die does. You can layer it like that, or you can use the outlined heart and cut out that heart, which I'll show you here in the video later on. You can layer them like this, as I'm showing you, just kind of, because if you're like me, these types of little frilly, scripty, swirly <laughs> dies, I have a hard time with, I'll be honest. Um, I just, it's it's hard for me to put the cards together, but um, I figured it out and I thought it would be helpful to show you all of them die cut out. So I'm showing you these cards that Spellbinder sent me or card bases with envelopes. It's like from the card shop on their website and they're all different sizes. You get white and vanilla and I don't know, it's really cool. They sent it to me a while ago and I haven't mentioned it, so I wanted to show you them in this video. You get these great envelopes, card bases. You can choose from all different sizes. So if you're interested in checking out the card shop, I'll have that link below as well. And those cards, um, card bases, do not have texture to them. If you get the Spellbinders kits, the card bases have a texture. Those that I just showed you are smooth. So I... You know, with hearts, okay, I'm like, oh, I'm going to think Valentine's Day. So I went ahead and cut out two pieces of this die in gray and red and kind of, um, I glued them together, but kind of off center, if that's the right term. So you see the background. So the gray is on top, obviously, but I wanted a little bit of red peeking through. So I just attached that to a white card base. I wanted this card to be very simple. And then the So Lucky, the sentiments I'm going to be using in this video are from the card kit this month. And I did do a 10 cards, one kit, if you haven't checked that out. It's um, on, it's the previous video that was last posted. And here I'm trying not to smear my ink. So this card's really simple, but I really like it. Um, you could create quite a bit of these if you needed to, and not that much time. So the next two cards I created are very different from the first one, but these two cards pair well together. So here I am just kind of showing you the pieces I'm using, how you can layer it. The gold cardstock is from Spellbinder's card kit as well. And that greenish, brownish cardstock was just a scrap of mine that I was like, oh, this is an ugly color. <laughs> I'm going to use it just to cut out so you can see how it looks when the die cuts cut out. And I actually end up using it for the third card. So I love the frame. If you go to Spellbinder's website, um, you can see some of their inspiration cards and they cut it out, the frame out of white cardstock and put it on a white card base. And it almost looks like lace. It is so pretty. Like I'm just staring at them while I'm doing this voiceover. I'm like, God, whoever created those, it's gorgeous. Of course, of course it's going to be gorgeous. They want you to buy it, but it's just so pretty. Like I want to recreate those cards. <laughs> Here I took that um, heart, I cut it out the center, and then I used that outline heart to cut it out. And then I'm trying to attempt to attach the sentiment in a spot I like. This is vanilla cardstock, 
So it went really well with the gold foil gold cardstock. So again, another really simple card, but very pretty. So here I'm like, you know what? This actually will look good with vanilla cardstock or cream color cardstock. So I'm going to go ahead and use this ugly color. <laughs> and it pairs well with the gold. So And I didn't cut off the center of that larger piece, the framed piece, because I wanted it to poke through with this piece I'm adhering right now, the gold piece. And of course, you could stick a heart in the center to cover it up or add, um, do I do that? I don't even remember what I do. I shot these before I moved, and we're moved now. See here, I'm showing you. And we finally got our trailer, so I've been unpacking all weekend, um, trying to get my craft room, well, my very tiny craft room set up. Um, so, hoping to have, this was pre-recorded, so hoping to have some current new videos for you soon. So, all three cards look lovely. The one on the right is like, <laughs> doesn't go with the other two, but you know. It was an afterthought. I was kind of winging it as I was making the video. So I'm so happy to be doing the small die of the month with Spellbinders this year. I'm really excited to see what else they have coming up. If you're interested in this small die of the month membership, I will have the link below. And if you have any questions about anything, let me know. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.